All right. Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, home coach here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It is 8.25 p.m. in the evening, Thursday, February 10th, 2022. 8.25, Thursday, February 10, 2022. Let's take a look at the forecast for nine different countries. We'll start with uh, California. And uh, we have an earthquake warning for two locations. Like I was talking about yesterday, there's two hotspots, two areas to worry about. And uh, this map uh, picks up on both of those. This forecast model picks up on those uh, areas of risk. The one uh, northwest of LA and the one near San Francisco Bay. So today through the 13th, uh, a major earthquake is possible northwest of Los Angeles and or in the San Francisco Bay uh, the 10th today through the 13th, which is on Sunday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, looking for a uh, major earthquake as possible northwest of LA or in San Francisco Bay. Now, just as we said yesterday, we said there's going to be a significant earthquake northwest of Los Angeles. And sure enough, 3.9 hit northwest of Los Angeles and a 2.6 and a bunch of, uh, actually, uh, a swarm of earthquakes, <coughs> excuse me, in that area. Nine earthquakes in that area, just northwest of LA, near Santa Paula, north of Oxnard. And if you check our video from yesterday, you'll see exactly what we were talking about in that forecast. We we're talking about that exact area now. Now we're uh, talking about that same area. Could get a uh, major earthquake uh, today, the 10th through the 13th, or in the San Francisco Bay. Those are the two hot spots. Uh, so please warn your friends and family uh, to be aware and be prepared for this, this situation. There's a uh, uh, the magnetic differential and the very variance from normal is very high in San Francisco Bay and northwest of LA. Two hot spots that we need to worry about during the next uh, couple of days here. So uh, be prepared for a strong earthquake northwest of LA or near San Francisco Bay. And we'll get back to that in a second. Alaska, two hot spots, uh, one near uh, Valdez and another one just northwest of uh, Anchorage. So we could get a strong earthquake near Anchorage uh, during the next uh, 48 hours or so, most likely. So keep an eye out for that. We could get a 5.0 earthquake or larger near Anchorage during the next 48 hours. In Greece, we could get a 5.0 earthquake in this area. Uh, in Southern Albania and Northwestern Greece, uh, today or the, or the 11th, 10th to the 11th of February. And then on the 12th and 13th, the risk is up here in northeastern Greece, uh, just northwest of Istanbul and northeastern Greece, a uh, very high risk in that area. Chile, you can see we we're talking about yesterday, uh, the risk being very high near Iquique and Antofagasta. Well, just a little while ago, we had a 4.2 just southeast of Iquique, uh, right in our high risk area there in northern Chile. Indonesia, there's a serious situation going on in Indonesia right now. The uh, forecast from yesterday showed a very strong earthquake was likely in this area near uh, central Sumatra. And now this is the most current forecast and this area actually expanded and uh, is even even higher risk in that same area so we raised the uh, risk potential to a 6.5 to 7.5 as possible in this area of the central uh, Sumatra uh, during the 11th through the 14th most likely during the next 48 hours 11th to the 13th Italy we had a high risk here in the north northwest and we, have, we had a 4.7 to 4.2 earthquake in that area. Now the risk is down here in Western Sicily and Southeastern Italy. 
And then on the 12th and 13th, it's in northeastern Italy here and near Croatia as well. Peru, very high risk in northern Ecuador, the 12th through the 13th of February. And in Japan, the risk has been uh, centered from uh, Hiroshima, Okayama, over to uh, Oita and Shizuoka, Nagoya, all the way over to uh, Chiba and Tokyo, and even extends up into Fukushima here. And we got a couple quakes, I believe, in that area. Uh, let's see here. And just most recently, we got this 4.5, <coughs> excuse me, in that area near Fukushima. But we got some other quakes in this area also, uh, right there, 4.2 and 4.1 offshore. So besides this newest one, uh, 4.5 near uh, Fukushima. Actually, that's Iwaki there. So right in that area, the 92% risk area there. So uh, during the next 48 hours or so, we could get a five point, and here's the latest map here, right here near Hiroshima and Okayama, uh, west of uh, Osaka, right in this area. That could get a 5.0 to 5.5 earthquake, a very significant earthquake in that area. In Western Japan here near Hiroshima, Okayama, and near Totori as well there uh, on the 12th and the 13th. And that risk area is in the same area on the 11th and the 12th. So watch that area near, uh, well, it's, it still extends over to Chiba as well, but most likely in the area uh, just northwest of uh, Osaka and Hiroshima and Okayama area. All right. And that's the most current uh, data here. <coughs> Excuse me, 3.9 hit exactly in our warning area. If you check the map from yesterday, the video from yesterday, that's exactly where the risk was. Uh, we were warning about that area. And then we said the risk would move to the uh, San Francisco Bay. And we were hesitating yesterday because we, we saw that there were still two areas of risk. And that's what we're seeing in this forecast model today. <clears throat> we're seeing two forecast uh, high hotspots. One is northwest of Los Angeles and one is uh, in the San Francisco Bay. So once again, a major earthquake is possible. <clears throat> when I say major, I think of uh, a 5.0 earthquake or larger because uh, you can, somebody can get, if, if the construction is not uh, high quality, you can get killed in the 5.0 earthquake. <clears throat> so a major earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay or northwest of Los Angeles, the 10th through the 13th, and uh, most likely sooner than later. But uh, the 10th through the 13th, right here in San Francisco Bay or northwest of LA, and this hotspot already produced uh, this 3.9, 2.6, and a bunch of aftershocks in that area northwest of LA already. And the risk is still growing in that area. So look for a strong earthquake in the San Francisco Bay or northwest of LA during the next uh, 48 hours. All right, thanks so much for your support here at quakeprediction.com and uh, your earthquake forecast center. Been going at this for 17 years of research and our forecasts keep getting better and better and better. And you notice that when we say there's gonna be an earthquake uh, in Northwest Italy, we have a 4.7, a 4.2. We say uh, Iquique, Chile, boom, there's some quakes there. And we say in uh, Eastern Japan near, uh, near Tokyo, and then the, the, the quakes hit where we say they're gonna hit. So keep an eye on the, on the area in uh, San Francisco Bay Warn your friends and uh, Northwest of LA during the next 48 hours. Uh, stay safe and we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.